Hello again! We are back for another edition of Park Hyatt at Home, aka Super Chef Dad. I am your host, Chef Matt. This is Chef Zoe. And this is a special spooky Halloween episode. Because I'm not really Clark Kent, but they don't know that. Today for our special Halloween episode, we are going to be featuring pumpkins. No, we're going to be featuring Wonder Woman. <laughs> we're going to be doing everything pumpkin on this episode of... Wonder Woman! Wait a second. What's going on? There seems to be some trouble. Do you hear that too? My super hearing. Quick, I need a phone booth. What's a phone booth? I think this might be a job for... <laughs> it is I, hey. Super Chef Dad, here to the rescue. Who needs saving? Not me. Oh. Well, should we just cook some pumpkins? All right, awesome. Dear. So a lot of people might be intimidated by, by roasting squash or pumpkin. Don't forget uh, what Superman uses to make his pumpkin seeds. Yeah, kryptonite. Now you just gave away my secret. Great, thanks. <laughs> Normally in, in the restaurant, I, I would just t you know use a big sharp knife and cut this up or peel it or, or whatnot. But I'm gonna show you a way that we're going to, to par cook it by I'm going to show you a way that we're going to par cook it in the oven to soften it up a little bit to make it really easy to cut to use for, for all of these recipes. Okay, so 400 degree oven, 20 minutes, uh, just until uh, the, the squash of your pumpkin is soft enough to, to easily cut with a knife. 20 minutes in the oven, and it is so much softer, right? It's very, very easy to cut. Kabocha squash here. All right, let's get our, our little stem out. Just make a couple cuts on an angle. And this one we're using for our soup. Yeah, by, by roasting it that first 20 minutes in the oven, it cooks the flesh just on the outside so that it comes right off. Okay, so our squash is all cut up. Olive oil, salt, a little cinnamon, a little sugar. Give it a toss, toss, toss back into the oven. Squash came out of the oven. About 15 minutes is it's not all the way cooked, but it's, it's very soft. Add water just to cover, and you want to bring it up to a boil as fast as possible. Cover the pot. You want to keep all of that aromatic steam inside. It's going to help the flavor our soup. Oh, cool. Not the super whisks. Not the super whisks. Not yet, Wonder Woman. Ah! Straight off the liquid. And just in case you have a little too much, you don't want your soup to be too thin. And then we will add just enough liquid to make a smooth puree, but then we save the rest of our liquid and then we add that in if we need to. Wonder Woman, what happened? High speed! All right, now, now is a good time to season your soup. It's like silky, right? I, that's what you want in a puree vegetable soup, honestly. Whoa, he was so happy. Here in Casa Del Mat, we have a little bit of uh, Spanish chorizo that I, I sliced and I roasted so it's crispy. We have some toasted walnuts. We'll just crumble in here. I, I have some of this, this is Borsan cheese. Mm. Okay, so we have another great pumpkin treat that you can make for Halloween or really any time of the year. Thanksgiving, right around the corner, uh, would be a perfect time to do this. We're gonna make pumpkin cheesecake. So easy. I can't even begin to explain how easy it is. I'm not even gonna show you the procedure. I'm gonna do two little uh, variations for the grown-ups out there. Cakes, we'll do our straight up pumpkin cheesecakes, and then we're gonna do a tahini swirl cheesecake. Can you see that? Soon chocolate tahini. It is so good. Just the reason I like it is that, that sesame taste just gives a little bit of nuance and a little more character. It cuts the sweetness of the cheesecake. It I do wanna show you the swirl technique. So what I did, I took our, our cheesecake batter and I just dolloped in a couple spoon, spoons full of our chocolate tahini and I took the tip of a knife and I just, uh, you know, got all uh, swirly with it. And what we're going to do, we're going to scoop through here, you see? And with any luck, we'll get this beautiful 
uh, swirl pattern. See? Just scoop up the swirl. All right, thanks. Scoop and swirl. All right, so you remember our, our little sugar cookies that we made? These are gonna be the, the base of our cheesecakes. Look at that. How, how cool does that look? Get, wait, hold on. <laughs> kind of, I gotta play defense here. Okay. All right. Super creamy cheesecake. Now, gotta get a little, get a little of the cookie in there too. All right, this would probably be easier with a grown-up fork. Here, come back here. How is the cheesecake? Put it down. You're gonna drop it. Go. What does it taste like? Poopy. In a good way or a bad way? A good way. Tastes like good poopy. Wow. Great pumpkin flavor. Not too sweet. The chocolate tahini, though, is what really. Bye. Sets this okay. We, we want to wish you. Okay. Come back here. Wish I had freeze powers. We want to wish you a very happy and okay, Bye. Listen, a really happy and safe Halloween from all of us here at Super Chef Dad. We hope you enjoy cooking with us <laughs> from Superman and Wonder Woman. <laughs> oh, oh, ouch! Good thing I'm invincible. Happy Halloween and happy cooking. Goodbye.